Oh, hello there. Didn't see you. <laughs> I'm sure nobody in the chat room caught that, so... It's just for you people watching after the fact. <laughs> um, anyway, welcome to uh, episode 47, I'll explain that in a minute, of the Midway region. Uh, it's a region that I've been building myself for some time, where I've filled out the uh, Horizon Archipelago uh, re region map. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which I thought, you know, reminded me a little bit of Midway Island area, and I, don't know, I thought it was fun. Anyway, what we're, um, the reason we're on episode 47 here, you may be saying to yourself, well, where's episode 46? It's, uh, it's an interesting story. So yesterday, I went to try to stream. SimCity kept crashing, like, over and over and over again. So I said, fine, I'm not going to stream tonight. Because obviously SimCity didn't want me to stream. Uh, whoops. So, I went to delete the, like, ten-minute video of, um of the failed stream, didn't look and see which one I was deleting, and deleted episode 46 that I hadn't yet published, I had meant to, and just, you know, time got away from me, so I hadn't, hadn't published it yet. So, episode 46 is missing, so I don't m remember all of what I did in that episode, probably is where I did all these crazy runs, which is a little disappointing, because that was fun. Um... <laughs> And this is... oh, okay. Is it this side? No, it's all good. Alright. So, anyway. Whatever. Things happen. Let's move on. One of the things that I was going to try to work on in the last episode is this. We need to put in um, our uh, work area. And I know at the trade port we're going to want a freight rail terminal. It's going right here. Just because I think that's like the perfect place for it. And put the sign on here. We're also going to want certain ones of these. We're basically going to need, because we're going to be an electronics back plant area, we're going to need this uh, alloy plant or alloy lot, plastic slot. Uh, processors, computers, and TVs. And that fills this out. Put some of these down. And one more there. Then can we put what? No, we can't put one over here. So let's do this. These will get a little extra money, and I think they'll look fine over there. Oops. I don't want to go over. It was an accident. <laughs> and then I'll put some of these down. There. Now we can import all the stuff that we need. Etc. Etc. And you know, since this is a very specifically electronics city, I should do this. And replace it with a plastics one. Something like that. Now. Let's see how big these are. Ooh. I have to have five medium tech industrial buildings. Alright, alright. We can do that. So I suppose since I know that this is where they're gonna go, I don't I don't really have to worry about it. Because I got plenty of room over there. And I'm not really trying to super densely pack this city. But, 
I do want to try to get as much as possible in here. And I do want this uh, center area thing to be medium well. So I think what I'm going to do here is take dirt roads. And let's see. Let's, let's actually start from this side. Oh, hello, John Deere Gamer. Yes, this is the new electronic city in the... Uh, I don't know the... I don't know which way is considered north. Oh, wait. Well, this... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> in this side. This is the new electronic city. So we have all the, this side built, and uh, we're working on it here. Oh, cool. My friend's Dr. Brony. Yeah, we're going to be... Uh, Putting in some nature in here. Do tall tree rows too wide. That'll be perfect. So we'll see how many we can actually fit. Because we will hit the uh, the length cap on this soon enough. Right there. So then, what we do right here, first turn off the guides, is put a little bit of a road in. Not draw through place buildings. There. And hello, Dr. Brony Gamer. Speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? That one was like extra wide. Oh, seriously, it's not going to let me put two in here? Let me put two in back there, and these roads are straight, so... <laughs> What's going on, SimCity? Trying to cheat me here? Maybe what I have to do... have to do that because then it will let me add on and then what I do is this <laughs> you're not smarter than me stupid trees <laughs> hey Mentos yeah it probably was because of the dirt road I think <clears throat> excuse me I think dirt roads have a slightly different um, I don't know a hitbox for lack of a better word they they just they they look a little bit different to the game than the rest of the roads do I think. Oh cool, Doctor Brony, you and you and John Deere are, sit, are sitting right next to each other. You're having a viewing party. <laughs> yeah, Mentos, this game is, is fucking nuts sometimes. <laughs> Uh, oh, and let's see, let's use our Trees Anywhere mod to uh, put some shade trees over here. Since we can't actually fit any more and anything else in here, but it's still going to be there, I want to put this. Yeah, see? Perfect. Fill in some trees, just like we could continue those. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen uh, Futurama, it's <laughs> they planted uh, traditional college foliage. <laughs> uh, maple? Uh, something else? Hemp? <laughs> there. Oh, ivy was the other one. Maple, ivy, hemp. <laughs> Alright. There. Now let's see what that actually does to our... This stuff. So cool, we got most of the center covered pretty easily. And since we have little cutouts here, we can actually... We'll have a lot of extra space to fill in the edges. Hey, Graham, good to see you in there. So, crossing our fingers so far, we're doing good. SimCity's not crashing. <laughs> now, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, wind blows up from the way that I'm facing. Yes. So, if we're going to have any industrial in the city, 
because we won't need a lot for people to have jobs. It's just going to be right here. And I think we're just going to have these two. Although we do have this kind of chunk over here I'm not sure what to do with yet. And I am going to lose some space in here, but it was more fun to draw the roads, so. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, and we're playing. Whoops, I didn't realize the game was moving. Because <laughs> I'm not finished building stuff. I was just marking that out. Um, in fact, let's let's mark this side out over here because we're going to have one of these, one of those, and we'll do that. And actually, there we go. No, I still have to decide where I want water and sewer. Oh no, I have water and sewer. Where I want um, services. That's the other thing I gotta do. And I have, I've, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna put them all right up here. Because that's like a perfect road for services. Although I don't know, it might get really busy. Hmm. It's now looking at it. There might be a lot of cross traffic there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just build over here. We'll put the uh, put this one over here. And honestly, we should be able to take care of this with like one, maybe two helicopters. Put two for safety. One of these with the you know the industry is just right there. Better not <laughs> burn down. We can put the police kind of right next to them. Maybe something like that. Oh, wait, I can't put the jails first. You have to, you have to actually put stuff down in a specific order on this one and on the roof if you want it to, to sit the way that I put them in there. Oh, whoops, no, this is what we want. Dispatch tower, jail cells, top floor. Put that down. Oops. Put one of these down. And then we'll fill up this. And this is just in case <clears throat> police gets really bad. Save some money. Um, and in fact, we'll turn off one of these helicopters and we'll turn it on if we need it. Uh, the first city I built in this region, um, that was a that was a somewhat industrial sort of Omega half electronic city too. <laughs> it was kind of weird. Sorry about that. I had to go talk to my wife real quick. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mento said that's all. That's what it was. It was kind of a money-making city, and just um, I didn't really care to balance it that well, and didn't really specialize. It was just yeah, cranking out money, and, and that it did. It it made like I don't know, fifty million or something by the time I was done with it. So I was able to fund a whole bunch of other cities, and worked out really well. <clears throat> Excuse.
excuse me. Here we go. I had to get a drink of some carbonated, caffeinated beverage. Uh, let's see. And we're going to put the... Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's put the medical center right there. So it's kind of at the end of this tree row. I don't know. It looks neat. Oh, I also... Um, and let me know if, the, if you guys can see the difference. And maybe you can't. But I adjusted the video settings just a touch to make it run slightly better and hopefully actually look just a little bit better on the stream. Um, I don't know if it worked. We'll see. You guys will have to let me know. And switch to center. <clears throat> I always click out when I don't mean to. Add off, add off. This is turn it all right back off. But I'm wondering, should I put these even in? Maybe I'll put one over here. There we go. Now this thing only costs hmm, 2,100 so far. It's not too bad. What is next? Suppose we need to figure out what to do with the outsides here. Our services, buses. Mm, buses. Maybe that's what goes right in here somewhere. Well, we still have a lot more room, I guess. But buses would actually work out really well, like, right here. Yeah, that should work, I think. Uh, <laughs> to those of you that have seen me make a city before, this is oops, this is standard procedure. Let's see, which way do I want the buses to run? I guess it doesn't really matter, but I can do bus stops farther away from intersections if I do it going this way. in over here, so people can, can work at this place on the bus, and can work at these places on the bus, they can get to school on the bus, they can get to the bus on the bus. <laughs> I do want, uh, let's actually just put park and rides kind of, actually, I don't know. Let's just put the one over there. Make this all park and rides. That'd be funny. Um. All right. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just uh, zone some more of this stuff. And let's start the simulation and get people moving in and um, continue working on stuff as we go.
take a little bit for people to get happy because we won't have sunrise for a few more hours, so we won't have power. <laughs> One of the little drawbacks to solar, but it's doable. Oh, speaking of, did I turn off most of these? Yes. Good. I did. Same with this, I imagine. No, I forgot to turn these off. Okay. Save ourselves some money here. How about this? Nope, didn't turn these off neither. Oh, no, I did. There you go, I just want that one on. We don't particularly need people to move in too fast, so we can actually raise this. Get everything kind of running in the city first.
Oh, I'm sorry. My mute has been on like this whole time. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize it was, it was on. Oh, anyway. All right, now we're starting to satisfy our jobs. Some of them. And as soon as we start educating people, we we'll do them a lot better. Oh, just a second. My wife is playing music. Okay. Much better. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry, DJ Turtle Boy. No, I must have smacked the... I, I set it to a key that's, like, easy to hit, but it's apparently too easy to hit, so... <laughs> Alright. Well, we're not going to get some medium tech buildings before we run out of money here, so we're going to actually start importing. Because I already know that this part is unlocked. And I should actually, honestly, have enough room behind these to do this. Mm, wait a second on that. Actually, no, I can go right over here. And you don't actually need power. Whoops. Sometimes I grab the SimCity window when I'm moving around. I'm not sure. Do I come all the way up? Hmm. Tough decision. I suppose we can use the room up here. Plus, it'll make it look cool. Um, actually, I messed up there. I do want to move that over. So I want to have enough room to make curves. There we go. This should actually be like quite a good S curve. There we go. A little bit of wasted room there, but that's okay. Why are we... Oh, we're... Using up all of our power already, apparently. Start turning a couple of these on. And then we're going to put another one of those factories in. However, this one is going to produce computers. Oh, except computers aren't approved. Okay. Well then, I'll just turn you off for now.
Corbin seems to be pretty happy. And they're all taking this stupid dirt road that I didn't want anyone to take. <laughs> That's the whole reason. Ugh. So irritating. I wonder if I just move it. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> I keep missing. You had to click like right on the top of them. There we go. Then what we're going to do is... Wow, they can draw that really close. Okay. And then we just fill in the middle. Uh, shade trees? No, let's do swaying trees. Yeah, they look about the same size. This is nowhere near straight. I'm just pretty much guessing. That's okay. It's just that it won't fill in with other trees, and I don't want it to be blank, so... Good enough. Should actually look pretty... yeah, I mean... It looks fairly close, too. You can take out, like, this tree, or... This one... There we go, and that looks a little better. Maybe this one and this one. Something. It's close enough. <laughs> anyway, I gotta put them back now, but... Something like that. What's up with our trash? Still worker shortage. <clears throat> Same with teaching. We will still get through. I suppose for now, too, we can put in some residential in here. We can always get rid of it later. Kick people out of their homes. It's always fun. We can turn a couple of those off, maybe won't require so many people. We have most of the yeah, we have all these turned off. Still need so many people. Maybe we'll have to do some low, like some low income housing back here. It's 
since that other card's, you know, medium well. What I actually want here... We definitely have enough room for that, but not enough room for two. But I will draw two. Because then, we should have enough room for one more inside of it. One more. That should be good. Here. <laughs> what I should actually do is just this. I know it's straight. <laughs> I don't know, that actually might be a cool exit for this, but I don't know if I like that. the same curvature. That actually could work. Something like that. <laughs> hey, Hawkeyes, good to see you in the chat. And let's figure out distance here. Two, three, four. Oh, that's might actually work out really nice. Because we can probably split this right down here. Basically right down the middle. Oh, you can't hear the sound effects volume?
A little bit better. Oh, some cities. Hang on. One second here. There we go. That should be a little bit better for you. Sorry, I I was messing around with my settings earlier today and I must have changed the sound and I didn't realize it. Hawkeyes, I do happen to know how to play this game. I don't... You don't have to click apply. If you hit OK, it actually applies it and then continues on. So, you know, don't talk to me like I'm a child. Make sure we have at least two buildings on this side. This is going to work for this side. It might be a little too close. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to have this side. Um, maybe we'll just have this side connect straight over here. It's a little better. Um, let's actually do this. There we go. Should have a few more people that way. Hopefully enough to run these stupid factories. Hawkeyes, if I pause the game, I cannot stop losing money. I have to continue running the game in order to no longer lose money. Because I need more people. And I honestly don't like the new lighting settings that I used. I thought I did. But I don't know. I think they, they look terrible. Let me put it back. So I have a thousand available jobs, and really, I don't know why this place says it's still hiring. Because we're teaching students now. Hey, 
Hey, Max Larson. Max D. Larson. Darlson. Whatever. My dyslexia is getting to me. <laughs> yeah, see, why do you... Oh, obviously we're, we're in Electronic City. Yes. Um... Alright, you know what then? We simply won't have any industrial. That way we ensure we have enough workers. And we really should have more commuting in. It's only 344. Oh, whoops, that's buses. Uh, trains. Yeah, see, and they should be commuting in from, uh, from over here. Oh, and over here. So yeah, we should have plenty of workers. Ugh, sometimes this game... Still waiting for enough people to move in, man. Shouldn't have fired up this electronics factory so quick. I'll just turn it off for now. Well, basically, I have everything turned off in the city that I can. It's costing me the most money now. I thought I'd turn one of those off. I did, okay. Yeah, oh, and the other one, I guess, yeah, it does still cost 1400 Oh, yeah, we can turn off this one. Of course, the school costs money, but we got to keep it on. we got one bus on. we got to keep that on. I suppose we don't have to keep the train station on, but we have people commuting in from it, so I probably should. In other words, I've turned off, like, everything I can. Without, you know, disabling the city. <laughs> Well, we need to lose some more money in order to spur some of our population to move in. So we're going to have to drop this to 0% for a little bit. And try to get these people to move in. I suppose actually I only need to do it, need to do it for residential because the rest of it is fine. Oops. So yeah, we'll we'll lose a bit more money for a little while in in hopes of getting these people to move in a little bit quicker. They were working on upgrading. I just had to run and grab a soda real quick here. You know, Max Darlson, you offer me tips or help every time you come in the, in the chat room here. And I do believe I generally have it taken care of. Um, as you can see, I've been building this region for quite some time, so... We're, we're, I think I'm doing okay. But thank you. Oh, in fact, let's let's check what the total time counter says on SimCity here. 
SimCity 2013, 820 hours, so, yeah. I think I, I, if there are tips that I don't know, I should already know them by now. I think that was, didn't make sense, but close enough. <laughs> oh, right, and I forgot I wanted to put people here. And here. And possibly even there. Since we need people, we'll do it over here too. More people moving in. Now this one we're going to be cutting really close um, as far as having enough money to start this city. I think I need to turn the things down just a little bit now because I had it at the right setting, but there we go. No, it's not quite as odd. <clears throat> I had it at the right setting there, but I hadn't adjusted the other sound settings in uh, Windows, so it was feeding it to uh, the headphones differently. But we should have enough people to hopefully turn this on and start actually exporting some stir. I get a little bit of money from him. But we should be able to have this full of people pretty soon. I thought the people would move into this city a little bit faster than they did. It appears I was wrong. <laughs> Alright, now we're producing TVs. That's what I was waiting on. Because then we can start exporting TVs and really making some money. Oh, that's another thing I guess we can save ourselves money on. I didn't think about. That's 500 an hour for both of those. I only need one. Oh, and I guess you can't turn the individual delivery trucks off, huh? Maybe we'll just turn both of these off for now. And this is off. Yeah. Now that we've had some people jump in, we should be pretty good. A little train thing network that we got going on over there seems to work pretty nicely. Lots of people walking. Hey, we just sold our first batch of TVs. Alright.
So we are still going to need... Yeah, okay, we have enough jabs. We're still going to need some um, industrial in order to get there. To get the processors. Right, because what's the other way to get it? Medium tech or high tech, yeah, so we have to have some industrial buildings. <clears throat> it's a good thing we we'll list all that under the, <laughs> the requirements, because I forget it so often. It's sad. It's too much stuff I try to remember every day. My brain can't handle it. Damsel in distress, you lost your volume button on your phone. That's not normally a detachable item. Um, it tends to stay, you know, firmly affixed to the phone. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> you got a case that covers it. and or, or that covers it in such a way that you can't push it. I hate that. Like, I'd rather have my phone naked than in a case that makes it not function. Now all I need is for some tech. Oh, it's not quite 6 a.m. We need some, some tech to, to grow in here. And really, we can turn off... Let's probably turn off two of these. Save ourselves some money there, too. Oh, pay off one of our loans. Ah, there's our tech. So it's going to fill this up. But then it should also fill our tech over here. I just don't know how long it'll take to get there. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Samsung. Especially what they've been trying to do lately with like their watch and stuff. Screw that. I got a Pebble on order. Take their freaking time. I mean, I can't be too upset because they're still a new company and it'll be a really freaking cool watch when I get it. But when I first ordered it, which was <clears throat> around February uh, 10th or 12th or so, um, it said orders for the Pebble Steel will be shipping in mid to late February. So I'm like, rock on. I'm right there. I'm, I'm you know, it should ship pretty quick. And then, like, a week and a half or so later, it changed to. Orders are being processed in the order that they're received. We'll ship it in six to eight weeks from your order date. I'm like, oh, okay. So that'll be end of March. It's now March, excuse me, March 21st. And uh, no update on the order. But I, I, I mean, six weeks isn't until, you know, another two weeks or so. Oh, thanks, Damsel. I don't know if you've seen this one very much. Um, by, by the way, I'm glad you like the way you know my, I do my cities. I, I try to just have fun with it. Um, but this one, I just uh, I wanted to have some really fun, weird intersections onto this main highway, and I, mean, I don't know. I just I'm only growing people in the center here. I've still got extra room around the outside. I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here. This side's going to be electronics. So it's going to kind of going to kind of <laughs> be the money making area. Oh yeah, where's that tech going? So these guys are soaking up all my tech. That's not cool. I just need more people to attend school. Oh no, there we go. There's some extra tech that's going around now. Of course, it just skips the buildings. That's, yeah, thank you. Thank you, worker agent. <laughs> or tech agent, whatever you are. There we 
There we go. As soon as we tech these up, we'll be able to build our processor factories. <laughs> That's terrible, man. <coughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I have a hand-me-down uh, iPhone four. Um, it's not. It's not hooked up to a network though right now. I actually live off Wi-Fi only, which is really, really good because I. It's cheap that way, and like honestly, there's Wi-Fi everywhere I go, so. I don't really need to worry about it that much, but I'm thinking about starting to actually pay for a plan, and I could just hook that up, but I really hate the iPhone. Um, I, I've had, uh, I have an Android tablet, and I've had an iPod before this, and, and I really would rather just go back to, and you know, have an Android handset. Um, but I wanted Verizon's really the only good coverage up here, so I wanted to look around for. Um, a phone that they would support and I wanted the Nexus 5 and turns out they don't support the Nexus 5 which is stupid so um, even on prepay nothing no, they don't support Nexus 5 so um, the Moto X is my next choice um, which would be really cool come on people grow I need these people to grow in Taking their sweet ass time though. Yeah, I I exactly, um, damsel. I'm a I'm a bigger fan of Apple, um, like laptops. I really like the laptops. I actually my my media server that runs my TV is a, a Mac Mini. And that's like, it's perfect. It's the right form factor. Um, it, it's already Linux based and it doesn't have, it does it, does it right. You know, not Linux based, it's just a Unix based, but whatever. It's, you know, I, I can get into the command line and do the stuff that I need to do so I can run like, I have an automatic converter so it converts everything to MP4 um, so that I can stream it to like a Chromecast really easily and stuff, so. Oh yeah, Huawei, LG. If you're going for the the cheaper side of things, um, if you can afford it, I've heard you know really really good things about the Moto X and stuff. Um, especially what they did with uh, apparently what they did with like you know it's got the always listening for OK Google thing. Um, they they were working on a watch, and then they couldn't get the watch out in time, or they didn't think it was ready in time. So they said, you know what, let's take the smarts, all the stuff that we did for that, and dump it into the phone, um, and give it an always listening chip and. So now, so now that it always listens for the, on the phone, and apparently it came from the idea for a watch. So it's, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. Little tidbits you hear you hear about here and there. These guys are uh, taking their sweet time growing in tech level. Come on. Baby over, pap. <laughs> and we can't fit another one here. Why can we not fit another one here? I don't know, you just think I could build another one in here. I mean, we're not making a ton of money right now, but we are making some money. Um, which, by the way, we can probably pay that off and be okay for the moment. Actually, that's really close. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Let's just get some more money here. <laughs> I changed my mind. But we do have, uh, cool, we got a high tech coming in. These guys should grow in tech level sometime soon.
let's see, it's 4 a.m. That means you are in, I'm going to guess, England. Welcome back, Hawkeyes. So I wonder why it's not going up here ever. Oh no, it must be because this got some tech. It just doesn't show that it goes up there. How weird. Huh. Oh, Netherlands, one more. You're right. Yeah, and I, and well, and the other thing too is I'm only minus five now instead of minus six, because uh, you know we just what was that two weeks ago switched over to daylight saving. Ah, time zones. <laughs> that was close enough. You know, honestly, that's like you saying, "Oh, you're, you know, it's 10 p.m. where you live. You live in New York." Well, no, I live in Wisconsin, but. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> oh, the purple tech line. That is, um, that's a visualization of the tech agent, which is, is not normally shown in SimCity. Um, it's just a, uh, it's a mod that shows that. So what the tech agent does is, um, just like power, water, anything like that, when people are working at the university, or, or going to school, rather, at the university, um, they leave, uh, they generate these tech agents, and the tech goes along the roads, just like, again, like power, water, and finds buildings that will use it, like the consumer electronics factories, uh, also the processor factories and stuff. They use it for um, producing better you know, more stuff at a time, <clears throat> and, um, the, uh, the, uh, oh, what do you call these? Uh, regular industrial buildings to increase in tech level, just like this guy did. See? Woo! <laughs> But yeah, it's basically just a mod that shows a visualization of the tech agent. How are we doing here? Just a few unsatisfied. That's actually not too bad. Still have quite a bit of available jobs, though. Need you people to move in. Oh, you're talking about this here? That's another mod. That's the Extended Worker Data Rollover mod, I think. It's a ridiculously long name. Um, now, this mod, just if, if you do get it, keep in mind that it shows only what's in the building currently. So, it's just an idea to, it's just to basically check and see kind of what ratio of people are getting there, see if people are getting there, that, that kind of thing. Um, because you have to remember there are shifts in SimCity, you know. Some people work the morning shift, some people work the night shift. It's a lot of different stuff. Oh, and I forgot I wanted to change this back down to dirt road. Because I'm sure people are still going to use it, but... Um, how do you mod Hawkeyes? Uh, that's not something you can explain basically if it involves programming um, 
if, if you want to just use a mod, uh, there's places online like Simtropolis that have mods, um, and they tell you how to use them. And it's basically just a, a file that you put in a folder for the game, and it does small things currently. Um, with the very recent release of uh, Offline, mods will be able to do more soon, um, and, and you know maybe do something like modify the the way the traffic works, um, make people you know take right hand turns on reds and stuff like that, or um, maybe even modify you know. All, all the things all the way down to the core of the game, um, you know, m maybe we'll get a terrain mod. I, I don't know. There's going to be a, there's going to be some cool stuff coming up because in single player, you know, Maxis has said basically all bets are off. You can kind of build whatever you want. Just be cool and, and uh, you know, make it cool and uh, don't don't be crazy. We're, we're doing a little bit of a longer episode tonight because I, I did destroy <laughs> episode 46 for those of you who didn't hear that. Um, we tried to record. Uh, I tried to record episode forty-seven yesterday. Didn't work out. That's why we're recording it again today. And in the process, I, I was trying to record it. Um, I was trying to delete one of the, you know, failed attempts at episode forty-seven, and clicked the wrong episode for delete. Confirmed without actually looking at it. It's, it's my own fault. And deleted the recording for episode forty-six that I had that I just hadn't published yet. So. Sorry. <laughs> but for now, you know, we'll do a little bit of an extra long episode for, for this one, you know, another 15 minutes or so. Um, try to make sure we get enough people in the city to actually run the city. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll have some, yeah, we'll have a city. I actually might need to take out <clears throat> one of these commercial buildings or commercial areas because they're starting to get quite a bit of uh, unsatisfied here or er, not not very many unsatisfied we're going to start getting unsold goods <laughs> yeah I know, damsel in distress. It's <laughs> I wasn't doing very good yesterday. I was pissed off at the game, so <laughs> it, it seriously. I, I tried to play the game and it crashed like four times in in the span of like two minutes. It was so irritating. It was a little longer than two minutes because I had to restart the game. But seriously, I, everything it looked like is running fine. I'd hit start streaming. We'd be going for about a minute and a half. And boom, crash. Retry the episode. We did this like three times. So. <laughs> Hello, Justin Tabs, 12. Let's see, what are we looking at for? Oh, we still have some more unsatisfied. All right, well, we'll keep the commercial the way it is for now. I realize there's high residential demand. That's why I want people to move in. Fine, we'll add on to this. Oh, come on. There we go. And let's check our distance here. I don't know that I'm actually gonna even. No, I'm not. Oh look, 
Mary's uh, house. Not mansion. House. Oh, actually. Oh, that works out. I couldn't have planned that. <laughs> that works out perfectly. Sometimes you get it lucky. We do need to, however, take that out. Hold those at. I think we're actually gonna do zone that. Build those that. And we're gonna do commercial just right up here. And then the rest of this is gonna be residential. Hmm, that makes this a four-way intersection, though. And I do not like that. Well, I don't know. I'll think about it. So I suppose I could just move it over a little. Let's do that. Uh, except this needs to be medium. Move it over to like there. I mean, it's medium as well. There. I don't think I have enough space back here, but it would be cool to do something with this. Like... Will it let me go underneath here at all? Ooh! Where were you? There. That's pretty cool. And then, can we take this across here? Oh no, it doesn't like the... It doesn't like the avenue above. No, oh, that's annoying. Oh, wait, what if we go over? What is that? the weirdest bridge ever. What is that? Like who would who would build that bridge? <laughs> Are you saying I'm putting you to sleep, damsel in distress? Is that what you're hinting at here? <laughs> There we go. Let's see if we can... Oh, it would let me go right over here. Oh, that's cool. Could try to go down too. None of this looks the way that I want it to. <laughs> well, that actually could work. I just need to... I need to fix this part. Oh, don't tell me road grade too steep. Come on. It's really gonna make me redraw this thing.
There we go. <laughs> well, damsel in distress, I hate to inform you, but I'm married, so... <laughs> that won't happen, but I'm glad you enjoy the sound of my voice. And that is not what I'm looking for in that intersection. Hmm. Why is this thing being so difficult? I'm gonna read this anyway. Not that we, you know, terribly need any of it, but... Oh, we can probably pay off uh, what's left of this. We're almost making money per hour. Which is excellent. Oh, and these guys upgraded too quickly, I think. I didn't even think about that. Should have kept them medium density. Or even low. Because I needed the highest number of buildings in there. <laughs> to be high tech. You'll get over it someday. I'm I'm sure you will. <laughs> that just the way things go. Early bird gets the worm and all, which is actually more um, salacious than I meant it to sound. <laughs> Still have unfulfilled medium wealth jobs. Oh, and this alloy reclamation line is full. Which means we should stop buying this. And just use locally. So we get these guys to grow in. Hey, look at that. We have them making some money now. And I haven't even been checking this stuff. I should have been. Doing okay on power, doing good on water, doing good on sewer. This is just, just yelling about the reclamation line. We're actually doing just fine and everything. We've been teaching just about everybody and... Yeah, doing good. 2,000 riders a day now. Same for buses. I still have just the one bus on. Oh, and I never did... Um, I never did buses over here. Which I probably should do. There we go. I'll do one. One here, one here. One there. Why not? Now I want to get this road in, and then I think we're going to have to call it a night. So, 
let's actually do that. To here. Yeah, see that came out looking a lot better. That's that's the slope I can deal with. We'll bring this this way. And there. <clears throat> now there's a weird way for people to get way back around the edge of the city. And there's still space on the ground here I could do something with. I, I really have no idea what I would do, but something. Oh yeah, and I was gonna turn on another one of these. You can also upgrade this. Which, at this point, I really just need to think about additions to this particular city. Oh, see, and I can even fit them over here. I bet I can fit two in here. Mm, maybe I can't fit two in here. Would be cool, but I don't think I can. I will figure something out. What do I want to put in here, though? I guess... Man, I really don't know, because it doesn't really, none of these really, I, I, I don't care. I guess we'll just do School of Medicine, get people healthy. And how's our tech come into these buildings? Yeah, hopefully they'll go medium or high tech soon. And that'll allow us to build our processor factory. So there it is, 7 a.m. People are attending school. The tech is flowing. And we want it to increase these buildings. How's it check? Is anybody like even using these roads? Probably not. It'd be cool, but. Check out the city up close a little bit. We have a lot of people walking along these roads, which I like to see. see looks like a real, you know, little downtown thing. <laughs> Big box store. Book loans. All right. Another big box store, like Walmart. <laughs> yeah. It's a little sharp, but I don't think that I could have. Yeah, I don't think I can fix that. I don't know. Maybe I can. But, it's looking pretty good so far. I have three high techs so far. So these other two would need to convert.
Huh. It's funny to watch the tech network, you know, the tech go around the road network in just really weird ways that you wouldn't expect it to. Alright, for now, we're going to call this a stream. I hope you've, I hope you've enjoyed uh, New Electronic City. <laughs> the bland name for it, but I think it, it works. I couldn't come up with something better. If you uh, want to follow what I do on Twitch, you can just follow me uh, at twitch.tv slash tinvec. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's the same thing, youtube.com slash tinvec. Uh, you can subscribe to my stuff there. I, I post everything from Twitch up over there. So, hope you subscribe or follow, and uh, if so, I'll see you next time. <laughs>